Ikshana Sanskrit, Ikshana is a noun which means sight, care and superintendence but also refers to eye, sight, look, seeing, viewing, aspect, caring for, looking after, regarding. In the Mahabharata, Brahma is said to have become the Ikshana I, in the form of this mobile and immobile universe, of all entities that took birth. In the phrase Vrishvekshana, Virishva implies the Vedas and Ikshana, the I. Kalidasa, in the phrase Madaraksan appearing in passage 2.72 of his Abhijjanashakuntalam, has also used the word Ikshana to mean the eye, which phrase Sankara explains is, Madira wine, as applied to the eye Ikshana, eye is equivalent to beautiful, Madarekshane means the one whose eyes intoxicate like wine or is the wine-eyed. Ikshana is a technical term used in Vedanta to show how creation took place by the beholding of Para-Brahman as an intelligent and a personal act of the Creator. It means revelation of the created. Parabrahman is essentially Chita who produces his self as Shadda Brahman by Ikshana beholding. Badarayana states, Ikshashakamavyapadisat sa Brahma Sutra From the mention as the object of the act of seeing, it follows that the Supreme Self is meant. Adi Shankara, in his commentary on this sutra, states that the object of Ikshana seeing is the Supreme Self, Brahman, and not Haranyagaba, the inferior Brahman. He says that the term Ikshati Karma means the object covered by the act of seeing. The all-pervading entity Purusa that is to be seen can be seen to be higher than the high one. Meditated. Pipalada tells Satyakama, son of Sibi, that he by the Sama hymns is elevated to the Brahmaloka, he from this Jivanghata the macrocosmic soul beholds the supreme being Adasmajivanatparatparam Purasayam Puruzamiksati Prashna Upanishad v.5, the statement, Uho Nama vi Tarkok Tpra Vichekshanatmaka, the terms Vitaka and Taka are used interchangeably, Taka occurs after speech, mind and prana have been restrained immediately before Samadhi, Vitaka consists of advanced thought and observation ikshana. it is through discernment uha that one leaves the lower plane of savakalpa and gets uplifted. The Vedic concept of tapas and the Upanishadic concept of ikshana to the effect that consciousness and force are ultimately the same and every will has an aspect of force, helped Sra Aurobindo to conclude that the fact is only a partial reflection of the idea which has created it and that it is the idea which expresses itself in matter and takes to itself bodies, and formulate the theory of ideas as forces. It was through Ekasidikshana Samyukta Prajna the supreme perfect knowledge was realized Abhisambodha by Gautama Buddha, that converted Bodhisattva to Buddha. Ekasidikshana refers to Prajna exercised in unison with one thought viewing when there is no separation between Noah and the known, all are viewed in one thought and enlightenment is the outcome. <laughs> 